Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Drive on Elementary OS. So to start off, you need to open up the App Center and you can just click on the App Center icon right there. Then you need to look for vDrive and click on it. And now I have it installed already, but if you don't have it installed, just click the Install button and then click the Open button to launch it for the first time. <clears throat> so I've already got my stuff synced so I'm going to go ahead and remove it and we will show you how to set it up. All right, so when you first start up vDrive, you're gonna see welcome, start syncing your Google Drive files. So you can click the login button right here and it'll say give permission to vDrive. You then click here. It's going to launch the default web browser, whatever that may be on here. I have a default setup in elementary, so it's going to launch in the epiphany and I can just choose my email for my Gmail uh, account. I can click allow and then it's going to give me a code and then I can put this code into here and click continue. Now once I do that, uh, this shouldn't be opening but it is, it's saying not syncing. So from here I can click the start syncing button. It's going to download everything into the vDrive folder and if we open up the files app here we can see our Google Drive files downloading to the elementary OS. Now, I think this is pretty cool because, um, you know, there are a lot of third-party Google Drive clients, but if you're using elementary OS, you get the added benefit of it just integrating into the system well, looking nice and not costing any money. Like no one had to pay for this, you know, there are some other syncing apps online for Linux that you have to pay for, which I am not a huge fan of, uh, but this is pretty nice. And since it's an app center, I think you can even like choose to give them money if you want to, but that's how you get Google drive working on elementary OS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.